Well, we are now the uh, Nederland. I don't know how you guys say it in Dutch. I would say like Nederland or Nederlanda or something like that. I would say Netherlands in English, but uh, you know, tomato, tomato, as they say. But uh, that is very exciting because we have some solid stuff that we can be getting done now in the near future. We are, our naval force limit is 61, bro. That's crazy. That is so crazy. 61, holy shnikes. Well, the question is, is what's next? I think our next idea group at admin 10 will likely be probably trade. I, I know we want to get into colonization. Um, we don't have anywhere that we can really easily colonize from. That's the issue. Unless we can somehow find a way to get to war with some people. I mean, we could like, you know, no CB somebody, but I don't like until you get a couple Diplotechs in, you're not going to get the, um, yeah, look at that 11 and then 15, 17, 19. So it's like, it's going to be a long time before we're going to be able to get any serious colonization done. So the next idea group will likely be trades. So we're going to switch over to that. And uh, let's see here. Let us. <laughs> okay. This is fine. So we did not integrate these two guys. I was under the impression that we would. And our coalition is disbanding. Very good. When it said Dutch vassals, it must have meant Brabant and Holland. That's okay. Let's um, wait a couple months. Wait one month here. And yoink. Make sure you get your crown land up. We are converting provinces. I'm not going to take Defender of the Faith. Our uh, Center of Reformation. Hey, nice. Our vassal converted as well. So all three of the Protestant refer Centers of Reformation are in this area. On the Ostwald, I think it's called, right? That's sort of the east. I don't know. I think that's what the, what the Nazis called the Atlantic Wall. Or maybe it was called Atlantic Wall over here. And then, I don't know. Anyways, what just happened? I lost the stability. I don't know why. I'll buy it up, though. No problem. We have our guy here. We are making so much money. It's almost criminal. Sort by unity here. So, right. I'm going to go with the one, this one because Holland will hopefully get caught by the Center of Reformation. So some of these really good ones, like this one here, is getting converted right now by the Center of Reformation. Uh, since it is our state religion, Centers of Reformation will target those provinces first. So like this right here, it's really nice. So basically, you don't have to convert anything. It's really good for us. Savoy is going to war. Sounds good, man. Let's uh, suppress some rebels. Why not? I'm not actually going to help in that war. Don't care about it. They don't need me. My vassal will head down. We got 7,000 men, right? Robontian separatists and they won't fire because we're getting it converted right now right no let's convert it um it's only 8k it's woods I think we're okay with having these guys there I'll lose the government reform progress I cannot be asked okay here we go that's fine. Now if they fire, they'll just get squashed, so it's no big deal. How much trade money are we making? 26 ducats a month. That's pretty good. Admin mana or half off admin guy. I'll just go with the admin mana. Crazy, man. Crazy how much mana we have. We're nine years ahead of time on tech. We still got plenty to go. So all this is really solid. No edict needed. Very good. We'll just keep converting the stuff. Let the centers convert the more heavy duty ones like Holland. Friesland's getting converted right now as well. Very good. Very good. Hey, jerks. What are you doing? Don't be devastating my lands. Killing my prosperity, you sons of guns. You sons of guns. They're killing my prosperity over here. I'll be damned. All right. Very annoying. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just stand here and protect it, I guess. So as far as the golden air goes, I'm... I don't know, man. There's no point in taking it right now because 
right now we're so far ahead of time on mana that there's not really any benefit to doing it. So I think we're good. So we're going to convert Breda and then Holland should get picked up by this center of reformation here in a moment. Friesland converted. Very good. Hainaut has converted as well. So a lot of these lowland countries are converting to Protestant. That's really good for us. Um, it doesn't matter because we're going to lose it in a couple months anyways. So that's fine. I hope you guys have been enjoying uh, the campaign up to this point. I, I don't actually remember how I did the introduction, but if you guys are enjoying, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Because there's plenty of content you're missing out on if you're not subscribed. I do also stream sometimes over at Twitch. Twitch.tv slash tree shoot. So follow me over there if you haven't. And uh, support me on Patreon if you have it within your means. Because I really do appreciate sp the, the support. Uh, I am mostly full-time on this. I actually really do YouTube mostly full-time. So if you want to support me, that's huge. It really is uh, appreciated as well. Uh, treasury or prestige? Well, I definitely will take the prestige because we got punched in the nuts with our prestige. Let's get you guys over there. That should be a wipe. Honestly, they have no general in that stack. How about that? How's that for some participation? 50% participation. I didn't even do anything. Not bad at all. Coalition is good. So let's see here. We have a truce with these guys for a long time. We're still in the HRE. A little bit of unrest over here. It's fine because we just converted it. Sadly. Yeah. This province right here is just disloyal in general. The Flemish peasants are rising up. The good old Flemish. I remember when I did it as a Dith Martian, I did the Netherlands. I I um, formed them as Frisian. <laughs> hey, here we go. So the Estates General, the General Estates. This is basically the uh, Dutch government, the Dutch Republic. I am a big fan of the Dutch Republic. So I think we're going to go for it. Um, you're going to lose 200 reform. I am going to preempt it by spending all my reform because you can't go into the negatives for government reform. We're going to do this. Wait. Wait a minute. This doesn't say... Oh, Dutch Republic government reform. Yep, so we're going to do that. Uh, you can see here... Oh, sadly. Sadly, sadly. Okay, anyways... The Dutch Republic is a trade efficiency, heavy ship combat ability, governing capacity, costs a little bit of absolutism, but you gain access to the Orangists versus the Statists, which will look familiar to you if you have played um, with the States General uh, Monarchy Reform, which is basically just, you know, Republics versus Republicans versus what all that stuff. So our Syndic Jan, uh, I think he'll actually get he may actually get forced into a uh, election right right off the bat. Political dynasties is good because it gives you the extra point. So we're going to go with that. Not bad. So we're in a war, so we cannot. Ah, see, this is what I was thinking. It was going to happen instantly. And that's fine. He wasn't that good anyways. The conqueror is a pretty good one. So this status candidate is better. But if we elect him, we will not be able to keep him. We want the Orangists in power because the Orangists rule for life. So we'll go with him. He's only 46, or he is 46, so he will uh, he won't rule forever. People are leaving our coalition. We're about to max out on Diplo mana. So we should probably upgrade our um, the dikes here. How come I can't do that? Oh, right. Missionary. So let's upgrade all the dikes. All our money is gone already. Damn. That's fine. It's fine, chat. What's our comp? What's our... 42 is our force limit. What in the heck? Since when, bro? All right. So we're going to go up to 10 cannons. That'll give you the most bang for buck because you can get a plus five on a siege. Um, and we'll go with... There we go. Build up to the force limit. Let's get you guys back to drilling. We have zero unrest over here. Let's have these lads come over here. Gonna max out on Diplo, so it's only ten per. Um, let's see here. So expensive. It's crazy how much dev we have over here. There we go. Look at that. 
I bet our force limit just went up a bit more even. By six. <laughs> Look how much dev we have. It's so good. Look at our man manpower as well. Manpower map mode. The lowlands are producing lots of men. Force limit's 30,000. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I'll have you guys suppress with him. Not bad. Uh, how's the force limit over here? 40. Not bad. As long as you have maneuver as well. If you don't know, uh, force limit is affected by maneuver. Our supply limit is affected by maneuver. So if you have maneuver, you get to... Oh, shoot. I was so close to that, actually. Well, now, that, now I feel a bit dumb. That's okay, though. Let's go with... Um... <laughs> Production efficiency, I suppose. Make a little bit more money. We don't need uh, conversion strength. Speaking of, we should switch this guy out to somebody a little more useful. This guy is super cheap. Super freaking cheap. So we're going to upgrade him. All right. So shape the Stat Statse Ledger. Uh, French Culture Group Alliance will yield the following reward. Okay. So I guess I should take a look here because I actually haven't really spent much time looking at this. And I know you guys are probably itching for it. And I know I am. So, any ally, one of the following must be true. Total development, at least 300, is a great power. Army size, at least 90% of the force limit, and have generals of at least one. So, we have that through Britain, of course. A British culture group alliance yields the following reward. British influence in the States reform our armed forces either at 100 army tradition or 100% army professionalism, giving the following infantry combat ability 5%. If we do it with the Germanic group, we gain land force limit modifier. Italian, we get discipline. And French, we get movement speed. So it looks like we're going to get 5% infantry combat ability, if I'm reading this correctly. We gain a permanent claim on a bunch of stuff around us and northern Germany. Very good. So let me check that. British influences in the state's army. All right. And I was, I think once we get to 100% army professionalism or 100 army tradition, it will, will get an event is what it sounded like. So then over here, we have crossed the Somi, Soma, uh, which is a river, I assume. And then this will give us Picardy defense, some stuff in there. We get staple port in Picardy and we gain two mercantilism. And once we get down into there, okay. Treaty of Mons, Wallonia, okay. Diplo rep, AE impact for 10, 20 years. That's not bad. Permanent claim on Ile de France and Champagne. Okay. Baltic grain trade. So this is Northern Germany. This gives us more permanent claim on Denmark. Stockholm. Oh my gosh. Okay. So lots of, so this actually is not very focused on uh, this. This branch right here is focused much more on conquest on the home front. Uh, Viteparda or however that's pronounced. We'll get us, uh, once we get some provinces and we have them dev up, every coastal province in the Vesa area area will give us shipbuilding, ship cost, ship repair, five naval tradition, 10 loyalty of the burgers above 50. Cool. Unite the low countries. We'll get us some mana. There's a lot, man. There's a lot. Expand the dike system. At least 25 dev over there. We can do that. Every province that meets the requirement will gain 20% production efficiency. All right. So one dev click. I can do that. Let's um, so that will give us 20% local production efficiency in all of these provinces. That's really good. Diamond quarter base. So Antwerpen has a base production of at least 14 and a workshop. <laughs> this is crazy. This is nuts. Goods produced plus one. Sadly, we didn't get the diamond, the, uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the gems in there. Otherwise that'd be really good, but local goods produced production value modifier for 25 years. Oh, jewelry. No way. No way. No way. No way. Jewelry gives admin efficiency. If I recall, um, I'm almost positive. It does. I, uh, strategic goods. Let's see here. 
Uh, jewelry. Oh my gosh. Because we'll be the only one producing it. All right. Cool. So this one here is development of at least 350. We have 300 dev. Isn't that crazy? We have 300 dev. <laughs> uh, monthly income of at least 150 and a fleet larger equal than 200,000. I assume that means 200 ships, if I had to guess. Sound, looks like a typo. Golden Age of Dutch Republic, which gives global settler increase. Okay. Great project. All power costs. So those will be useful sooner. Uh, centralized the shot holder. Okay. Holland, several, center of trade and a dock and a shipyard. Okay. Well, I can do that as well. So let's build the dock first and then we'll build the shipyard. Shipyard's already built, right? Yes. All right. So it said we needed this one and then it needs to have center of trade at least level three. We can do that very soon. This one here is lower our autonomy, which is good. Admin advisor level three. We have that. All right. 5% crown land and 100 admin as well as state maintenance. Very good. Common lands. We need 10 provinces with a church with at least 20 development, which will give some bonuses to that as well. So let's build some churches. We have one, two, three, four. And I think I said we needed 10. Hmm. Okay, so we can do that eventually. I'd rather... Well, let's see here, actually. Yeah, we're pretty close. We might be able to... Hmm, okay. So let's push for that, because I guarantee you... That will boost our income enough. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And these guys are upgrading the dikes. So that's going to take a minute. If I cancel it, whoa, why is that so expensive? No way. Yeah, no wonder I spent all my money. Okay, well, that, that was a mistake. So there we go. We can upgrade that one and then build that there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's revoke that as well. Let's just build the taxation there. All right. Advancement of Religion Act. Yes, please. So... This one, we will get done here, assuming that these are all 20 dev at least. I assume most of them are pretty close, so no, not all of them. We're going to have to do a little bit of dev. That's okay. These guys are all up to 20 dev, so it looks like it's just these two provinces here. That's okay. Um, put you guys on trade when the time is right. All right. Reform the Royal Navy. Heavy ships, 25 heavy ships, have a naval arch. Or a naval reformer. Okay. So naval reformer is easy. Have navy tradition of at least 50. Number of admirals at least 3. Modernization of naval forces. Okay. The heavies, that's a lot of heavies. But uh, we could probably manage it. Because we could just mothball them, right? So naval reformer. Is that here? Uh, we don't have one. He's half off. So that's, we're going to stick with him for now. Especially since we plan to work through... Uh, Diplotech. So I'm going to let my Diplomana stack up here. So that means we need these guys over here to be on dev costs. We need to dev them. Let's dev this one first since it's going to be the most expensive. Okay. And then Breda. So now they're all level. They're all 20 dev. All right. So let's get those churches built. And we'll reform the Navy there. This one is going to take some time. Three canals plan. So we need eight coastal provinces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. Admin and missionary strength or prestige. I'll take the prestige. Public and tradition will go up over time. Principles of natural law. Governing and reform progress at least 250. Republican tradition of at least 90. Shaping the Dutch law. Okay, so that's just going to take some time. Uh, past the bleed and storm is not the age of discovery and has enacted the Declaration of Indulgences Act or the Past Test Act. So this one we need admin tech 10. Okay. 
So we'll be able to get that one soon as well. We'll just unpause and let, let a few some time go by. The Dutch Expedition. So this is our colonization route. This one will happen eventually because we're going to charter the uh, West India Trade Company, West India Company, which is really good. All right, very good. So it looks like we're just going to wait on these buildings here. This is going to increase our income quite a bit. Very solid. Paper over here as well. I did not realize that this was paper. So I'm curious what we need to do to convert this from cheese into something a little more useful. Did Bernie get PU'd by Austria naturally again? All right. So we have this stuff all done over here. I will take the innovativeness. That's very strong. This one will give us the port of Amsterdam staple for our golden era. And we gain a counting house as well as global trade power in Holland for 15% for um, 15 years. Cool. Some good money right there. That dies. Indigo, indigo die. Inigo. Like uh, the follower in Skyrim. So, yeah, we're collecting 32 ducats a month over here. That's pretty solid. We need to integrate this guy ASAP. So let's improve relations with him. We have this one done as well, which will give us the governing reform progress as well as tax modifier. So these ones here, state houses and courthouses. All right, so that's just going to come with time. And then... 240 naval professionalism navy tradition of at least 60 naval professionalism i don't even know what that is uh admiralty of amsterdam project upgraded okay naval tradition we should be able to get pretty easy right because we're ah uh, sadly okay that's fine so we want to get up to at least 250 so we can go through which one was it right which one was that? Where was that at? 250. Okay. Where was that at, huh? Um. Okay, so this one we'll be able to do very soon. And then this one was the governing reform progress and Republican tradition. So being so being ahead of time, I'm just going to we're going to sink some mana, uh, some points into our Republican tradition. That is fine. We're not going to click this for a little bit. We're gaining quite a bit every month, which is good. All right. Cool. I am uh, immersed, to say the least. These mission trees are pretty nuts. Uh, so let's also make sure we're building production buildings. Production efficiency is just really nice. Just a great way to keep your money up. Okay. We're all of armies for trading in beer. We trade in beer. I drink beer. Milk is for babies. Name that movie reference. They said, do you drink do you drink milk? He goes, no. I don't drink milk. I only drink beer. Milk is for babies. Um Eh, sure. Let's go with a level three. This person can be upgraded. That's fine with me. I want to at least click a button or two before we finish up here. Ooh, statists. Well, they they won't be they won't take power, but ten percent trade efficiency is a bit much. But it's only five years actually, so I'm okay with that. So now, when he dies, we can elect either or, and the orangists will stay in power, which is good. We want that. All right, I'm gonna. I'm willing to fall behind on Diplotech, uh, Miltech a little bit if it means we can uh, push through our mission tree a bit. Let's see here. We still have a ton of truces with these guys as well, which is painful. So our truce with Picardy is up in 21. Right here, let's go with prestige. Can we get loyalty? Yes, Republic Republican tradition. Yes, we need that. Uh, prestige or add eh, mana. I guess we'll go with it. mana. It's fine. Uh, British influence in the state's army will be removed and uh, evolved English influences in the state army will give us combat ability as well as fire damage received. Okay. Very good. 
as well as we do get the 2.5% admin, admin efficiency, which is nice. All right. So this is going to be, this is just going to take some time in order to get this. All right. Yeah. We need to get these guys improved so we can integrate them, which we can do basically as soon as we get our relations up with them. So a couple of things you can do to get your relations with your vassals up. Oh, we're not a great power yet. Really? Oh, we're so close. We're so close. All right. Well, I was going to say to, uh, you know, influence them, but we can't do that. Of course, but that's okay. So now we just improve relations with them. Disable war taxes because the age is over. Pass. Uh, we need admin tech. Which one was this? Test Act or the Declarations of Indulgence Act. The Blasphemy Act. Sure. I don't care about that. I just want to make sure we do this one. The Test Act. Yes. Very close. We'll actually take it ahead of time. I don't mind. And then that will allow us to get our trade ideas, which we want, which will allow us to make more monies. I like money. Now, I think I'm going to take Diplotech to stay ahead of time on it. But now we can hit the, the test act. This one will allow us to click this one, which will give us 20 years of stab cost tolerance of heretics. Oh, wait, we passed the test act. So we get tolerance of the true faith and a clan of fury will be removed from the Netherlands, which is good. Fund the golden arts. Cool fact for you. Big boss made this art himself. He was very proud about it. So make sure you leave a comment and let, let, um, let me let big boss know that fund the golden arts has beautiful art. He made it himself. All right. Rembrandt von Rien and the Dutch arts happens. Very cool. Is Rembrandt who's in charge right now? No. All right, obviously, because I know who Rembrandt is. Uh, made some beautiful arts. Beautiful art. I really appreciate the sort of realism that, that he did. So, national affluence and maritime wealth. So, enables various events about culture. Cool. So, I also believe that this art is part of the thing as well. Um, advisor is 90% cheaper stab cost. So Rembrandt is 90% cheaper. Uh, yes, please Rembrandt. Yes, please Rembrandt. Uh, where's he at now? Where's he at? Where's this man? Whose man's is this? Where? What? Did I miss it? Uh, excuse me? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's a level one. Right, right, right. Look at that. Level five for 255 a month. That's crazy. We're swimming in the Diplo. So we can't get any mana for that. So we want to hold off on that. Hopefully I remember. Until we get our Republican tradition high enough. Okay. So we're going to take Miltech before... Ah, eh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to keep boosting it up until we get up to 90. But that's going to do it for this one. We did not change our borders today <laughs> because I'm having a heck of a time going through our mission tree here. Look at this. It's crazy. We're going to make sure that we explore in its entirety for this campaign. So make sure you stick around for that and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think so far from what you've seen. And uh, if you've been playing along, tell me a little bit about your campaign because I like to read those comments. And uh, if you want to join the Discord, subreddit, Twitter, anything like that, it's all linked in the description below the video as well as uh, my Patreon. If you'd like to support me, I have my Patreon linked. Support on the Patreon is huge. It really is what allows me to do what I do. So if you have it within your means and you want to support, I recommend doing it that way. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.